Welcome to the church. Oh, my lovely, lovely child. What is bothering you today? You seem like you've got an awful lot on your mind. It's hard to praise our Lord when we've had such a clouded mind, isn't it? So many earthly worries keeping us occupied. Hopefully I can help you get rid of some of those. Tell me, what is wrong? I had a feeling. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and um, come with me? Perhaps we need to talk privately, don't you think? Somewhere where maybe the Lord wants. <laughs> Just follow me, sweetie. You'll be fine. All right. You've probably seen this in movies before, haven't you? <laughs> It's a confessional. A little booth. I sit on one side. There's a screen between us. I can just hear your voice. And we can talk in private. All right? All right. So let's talk. You can go ahead and get in. I'm gonna need you to kneel. Yes, that is absolutely necessary for this process. So if you could just go ahead and do that for me. Good job. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sit on the other side right here. And I'm gonna need you to tell me exactly what has been plaguing your mind so we can get rid of it. All right? Go on. There's no need to be shy. I am not here to judge you. I am simply here to listen. The only one that can judge you is God. And he's pretty forgiving. Right. Hmm. And did anything else happen besides that afterwards? <laughs> right. Well, I understand why that would be hard to shake from your memory. How long ago has this occurred? Hmm. Right. Well, thankfully, it's already some time ago. Time truly is one of the biggest cleansers of the mind. It softens all the sharp edges of all the things that have happened to us. Sands it down through the constant ebb and flow of new occurrences. But the way you speak of it, it must still be pretty sharp. And is this the reason why you have turned to the church today? <laughs> Not only. 
What else? What else is wrong, my child? <laughs> oh, of course. You are safe now. I promise. The things you have seen the things you have done. We are born from sin. We are born imperfect. It is only natural. The fact that you are able to recognize your own actions and come and seek for help has already cleansed you of so much. <laughs> I will need you to pray two times a day for a week. And I will definitely need you to come and visit me again whenever you can to talk of these feelings of these sins of these dark things plaguing your mind you know very very important plus I guess I also wouldn't mind seeing a friendly face again. <laughs> if you want, you can stay and sit here on your knees for a little longer. Just be in my company. I'm not going anywhere. You can pray here with me. It's already late. No one else is going to come into the church anymore. shout out and thank you to some of my patrons.